YouTube fam. All right, so hopefully you watched my previous video. Um, it was on the KVD Good Apple Concealer and my mini haul I did today. Where I got my new Hello Kitty headband. <laughs> um, but we did my um, base makeup and I went over everything I used and how I used it. Um, so far so good it's looking good under my eyes I mean you guys I'm almost 40 <sighs> I realized that like my birthday's on the 25th I'm gonna be 39 this is my last year in my 30s <laughs> but um I mean I have fine lines and stuff and this looks better than what it normally does so I'm super ex happy about it I am gonna put it on when I wake up tomorrow and um, wear it all day and kind of see how it looks with that um, but I, I couldn't wait until tomorrow to put it on my face first. <laughs> like, it had to be today. So, alright. So, this is what I've been waiting on. So, I ordered one of the mystery boxes from Lunar Beauty. Woot, woot. Um, I got the small one. Um, it was the $50 one. Um... I, don't, I, I know the big one sold out. Let me check. We're going to do a live check now on this. I don't even I don't know if they have any more available or not. Let's see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't think they do. I don't see it anymore. So they must have sold out. So. But, um. I watched a video. A spoiler video. So I'm hoping what's in this box was in that box. Because this is the reason I got this box. <laughs> so, bubble wrappies. Bubble wrappies. Okay. So, first off, we got a couple brushes, which I'm kind of excited about because I've been wanting to try Manny's brushes. Um, this one is the LBE7. Ooh, they're nice and soft. Look how cute that is. Um, next up is the LBE1, super soft, super cute, I might be ordering the rest of this set, <laughs> and then lastly is the LBE5, and I'm really excited about these two especially because they're small, and y'all want to hear me say it all the time, I like small brushes because I have hooded eyes, and then... We got the face brush, which is a dual in. So, oh, so soft. Oh my gosh! And then this in. Ooh! Wow. These are probably one of the softest brushes I've ever felt that are synthetic. Wow! I'm blown away. Awesome. So I got some brushes. And then, let's see. This is Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss. And this is in Mystery. Um, this is when he announced it. He said he was doing these. Um, he was. This was going to be in all the boxes. So this is like a limited edition um, for the boxes lip gloss. Like a gold sparkly moment. And if you've never tried Luna Beauty's lip gloss formula, it's time you did. <laughs> They're really good. And then this one is, what is this? Liquid lipstick in perfection. And I don't have this. I have one of his lip glosses, but I don't have one of these. Look how cute you guys. Like, look, this one has it too. Like the little diamonds in it. Ugh. Gorgeous. And it's kind of a nudie pink. Definitely a color that I wear a lot. 
So, happy! And then lastly, look how, look how it's wrapped. I think this is it, y'all. And if it is, it makes this box worth it. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> this palette's like $48. So for $2 more, I got two lip products, four brushes, and the palette I wanted. So, oh, I'm so excited, y'all. We're going to put this on my face. We will, we will. This is... I love the packaging of these. And this is the inside of it. Gorgeous. All right. Guess we'll do some swatches, and then we'll put it on my eyes. And I'm gonna go our normal way, just down the rows. All right. So the top is all shimmers, and the first one is Thaga. And this is like a, this is just like a white shimmer. Next up is Luna, and this is a pink shimmer. I'm very curious to see how this works too, because apparently this um, palette was made with the new lab. Um, this one's Mildred, this is the next one. It's like a peachy gold, and like some people were like, yeah, and some people were like, I don't I love it, so I really want to see how this was because I his other formula, like like for the um volume one and like all the other palettes I have, it's really good. But um so far these are swatching well. Um no issues, so that's good, but we're only three shades in, so we'll see. <laughs> um next up is a purple and this one's called Myrtle. Very pretty. And lastly is Misty. And Misty is a pink. Very gorgeous. Alright, so that's the first row. Now we're on to the second row. Now the second row are all mattes. So, first up it's Alex, which is a pink. Next up is Cameron, and this is like a salmon color, a salmon pink. The only thing I'm noticing about the mattes, um, they're smooth, and they're going on well. Um, they're not as pigmented off the bat as, as other palettes I have. But it's not patchy or anything, so, um, I'm sorry, this one is Sally, and it's orange. Next one is Gillian, and this is a purple. So I don't, I want to see how they perform on the eye, but, I mean, so far, so good. Um, next up is Willow, and Willow is a red... I don't know if it's coming off, um, it's more of a truer red, like, when I'm looking at my viewfinder, it's looking a little more pink, um, it may have a little bit pink in it, but it's more, like, leaning true red than anything. Alright, we are on row three, next is Louise, Louise is a purple metallic. Next up is Zelda, and this one is a pinky purple metallic. And I need to clean my fingers. 
All right, next up is a um, matte. This one's um, a purpley pink. This one's called Hilda. Which I'm digging because I used to have a Rottweiler named Hilda. She was a good girl. She thought my son was her son. <laughs> um, then we have a reddish metallic. This one's called Grams. She was such a good dog though. Like she, um, she was at work. I was at work when she was starting to pass, and I was actually still living with my parents at the time, um, because I'd moved back in with them when I got pregnant. It's like. I had nobody and my mom was like come back home mama and so and you know she really helped me with my son so I moved back in with my Rottweiler and she was old she was like nine or ten when I adopted her um and she lived to about she was either 13 for like around 13 12 13 up in there I only had her for a couple years I mean she was an old old lady um, but she waited till I got home because they called me and they're like, hey, Hilda's not doing good. She's having trouble breathing. And I'm like, I'm coming, I'm coming. I got home. And as soon as I got home, like I went and loved on her and she just she took her last breath. And I was just like, oh my God. I mean, it was a sad story, but she was a good dog. I loved her. All right. Next up is Freya. And this is kind of like a hot red. <laughs> it's like the best way I can explain that. It's a definitely different color. I like it. I like it. Alright, so that's the third row. Let me clean off the lipsticks and stuff off my hand, too. Alright, so um, we're on the last row. The first one on that row is a matte dusty purple. This one's called Maggie. Next up is a brown called Mel. This is a cooler toned brown, which makes me happy. Next up is a bluish purple. This one's called Macy. Well, it pulls a lot more purple once you lay it down, but it looks kind of like blue in the... Huh? It's like a blue purple. I don't know how to explain the color. All right. Next up is a maroon matte, and this one is called Queenie. I have a hognose snake named Queenie, and this is yeah, like a maroon, a dusty maroon, I guess you can say. And lastly is a sparkly matte called Marie. Oh, hopefully you guys can see that sparkle. But that's the palette. And I can't wait to put it on my face. So let me clean up a little bit and we'll put it on my face. Alright, alright, alright. So I did put my eyes um, before I hit record. Um, so I got that done. And I'm going to try to use, I'll have to wait on the face brush because we've already done my face, but I do want to try these brushes out. Um, and I also have cleaned uh, <laughs> my uh, Blim Bunny one, so I'm going to try to use some of those to get some idea on how that is. Um... I'm not a hundred percent sure what I want to do yet, um, but I do want to go ahead and go in. Let's see. Like, there's a couple that like really catch my eye. Queenie does. Grams does. All right, I think what I'm gonna do. All right, so we're gonna take Sally, which is. This color and I'm gonna go up here with it and crease
so far so good um it's blending pretty well so Let's see, I'm going to take this brush. This is the B1 from Blim Bunny. And I think I'm going to go in with Mel, which was that cool tone brown, and deepen up the crease with it. This might not be the best brush to use for this. Hold on. Where is... There we go. Oh. Where are my brushes at? Here we go. So I'm trying to fan it like into my eyeball, <laughs> like where my eyeball starts and blend it in and just that brush is just not dense enough to do that with. All right. I really hope y'all guys can see that. I forgot to look up because I forgot to <laughs> reset where it was. So if y'all haven't been able to see what I'm doing, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That blended in with the other one pretty well. As I'm happy about that. And then take a fluffy brush with nothing on it. I'm just go over them. So there's no like sharpness to it. Awesome. Alright, and now I think I'm going to go in with, with Queenie. Um, out of corner. And kind of drag it in a little bit. I used to like rush myself with the blending process and I'll never I was like where are my eyeshadows don't look good because you're rushing it like I'd rather sit here for a couple minutes and blend it blend it in where it looks amazing you know it just takes a minute but it's fine it's fine okay Go a little bit more out with Queenie. So I want a little bit more out that way, so. And 
you know, be taking concealer and fixing it if I have to. I ain't do. Alright, so this is where we're at. Now. This is Graham's. It's like a red color. Oh, something I do want to advise. Um, if you don't do a lot of red tones, especially in indie pigment shadows, be forewarned that you can get a little bit of staining. Um, because it's the way they're formulated with the, the vegan and the uh, red that causes a little bit of staining. Like, I don't... Like, you may see on palettes where it's like, ha, this eyeshadow palette, this, um, this certain shade is not eye safe. And it's because in the U.S., these stained pigments, um, they're not for the eyes. But that's the reason, because they stain. Um, in the U.K., it's not like that. I'm sure there's a lot of technicality stuff you can put in that, <laughs> but I don't know it, but that's the gist of it. Like, it's eye safe. It's not going to hurt you. It just, it does stain a little bit. Now, if you get a little bit of, like, you know, um, cleanse, cleanse balm, and then get a little bit of toner, it usually takes it out like that. I just, um, clean this up with a, um, a makeup wipe. So, just be advised of that, um... If you're new to like indie shadows, especially red ones, when you're dealing with pigment. So. Okay. So I want to take a little bit of my NYX glitter glue and we're going to put it on the lid. But I know that was, like, when people, if, like, if you don't know about that pigment situation, like, people are like, oh my god, it stains, but I'm telling you, cleanse, a little bit of toner, it comes off, you're fine. <laughs> so, don't freak out about it. Alright, so I'm going to take this brush from Lunar, Lunar Beauty, and I'm going to go in with Graham's, and I'm going to pack this on the lid. Then I'm just going to take, where's the brush at? The one I used was an ounce. I don't think this is it, but that'll work for what I want. And I'm just going to go over it, now that I got it packed on, to really make it pop. And then just want to blend the top out a little bit with um, Mel.
small fluffy brush and just kind of buff it out a little bit. Then we're going to go on the outer corner and I'm going to deepen it up with Marie. Yeah, I'm sorry if y'all hear my dog. She's didn't want to be in here. Now she does. Never make her happy. All right. So bottom lash, bottom lash. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I think I'm just going to go on with Willow, which is that matte red. And then put a little bit of that Marie in the very bottom corner. Alright. And then the inner corner we're going to go in with a faga. So that is the palette. Now we need to um what do I want to do for liner? I kind of want to go dark brown because I really don't like because I blended out that black where it's more it looks like a brown so I think sticking in the brown family would probably be the best idea and this is just the NYX epic wear in what color is it called deepest brown so it's basically almost a black
and then the top we'll use my boogity brown from Hank and Henry the liquid liner it out a little bit okay awesome gorgeous 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 okay next we will use let's try out my new tart what is called lash smoothie and sh tart sugar rush okay let's try this bad boy out hmm, I'm kinda pleasantly surprised on this Especially because it's the Sugar Rush <laughs> line, which is more like the... Uh, I just got it in my eye. Because <laughs> this is like, almost like they're... Youngin. <laughs> I stab myself in the eye. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to wait till that... Uh, might be able to. Yeah, we good. We good. Apparently, I can't talk and put mascara on it because I always stab myself in the eye with you guys. They are bad for my health. <laughs> Alright, so. I think we're going to go in um, with a liquid lipstick from Luna Beauty. We'll do the perfection see how this goes it's mmm it smells like a vanilla cupcake you guys oh my god it's basically the color of my lips like perfect Super smooth, super comfortable. We'll top it off with a little bit of mystery. And then try to fix my mascara. Gara mistake. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me zoom you guys in. All right. So overall, oh. <laughs> overall, I'm really happy with the box. I think it was a really awesome value getting the two, the two liquid product, the uh, two lip products the palette i've been wanting forever and getting some brushes the brushes are definitely super soft i do like them um so i'm happy so i hope you guys enjoyed it and um if you have any questions let me know and you guys have a fabulous night i'll see you soon bye